quick update, a little unplanned content here. <clears throat> I drove from Table Mesa yesterday, uh, a little over an hour up the Chino Valley, staying with a friend. And I noticed when I went out to Table Mesa that my hitch was was uh, dropped down a little bit more, kind of bent. To be honest, it was bent back in North Carolina. But uh, I was like, oh, it's just a little fatigue and it just opened the mouth of the receiver is all. Well, I got to Chino Valley. Well, Bronson from Rec Gear looked at it and was like, hey, your hitch is down a little bit back at Table Mesa. And I was like, shh, it's fine, it's fine. We just don't talk about it. And he's like, okay. Then when I got to his house yesterday, I looked at it and was like, wow. Damn is a substantial difference. So, crawled up under it and looked, and it's like, it's really reinforced a lot up into the framework of the flatbed. But the problem is just behind the diamond plate on the outside, just behind that, the receiver tube is actually cracked. And it is down like this. God, what are you doing, car? I'm trying to pack her right. <clears throat> I'll put a picture of that here, if I can. And, uh, well, I'm in a pickle now because I'm only here for five more days. So luckily, Wrecked Gear helped me out with um, their guy. My GPS is not working. Southwest Crawlers could fit me in to knock this out and I think I'm going to upgrade to a uh, three inch hitch. I've got the Gen Y like torsion hitch and everything. So uh, I called Gen Y they found me a dealer that's in Phoenix only two hours away that has the exact configuration hitch that I currently have but in a three inch. And uh, I just want to say it's my belief. I don't push it on people. I share it with people. You know, but I, I am a believer. And last night I was stressing about this a little bit and I was praying like, God, please just let this work out. I'm gonna just put this in your hands. And everything is just coming together. It's just been really cool. So I'll show you a little bit at Southwest Crawlers and maybe how some of that conversation goes down if they're cool with it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so these guys are getting me all fixed up. I got the buggy off the truck. Well, that's backwards. Leaving the truck here, driving, wow, that's so backwards. Driving the buggy back to the house, which is only like six minutes. If I get stopped, I'll just explain the story. But uh, they're squeezing me in here and I'm really thankful. I don't know why I walked up to the buggy while I'm trying to talk. But uh, yeah, let me show you the hitch. Yeah. So, this crack on the back side of this, I can't really show you, but I got a picture, I'll put it in. So, they're going to cut all that out, it's going to be pretty extensive. So with the truck in the shop, the buggy was the only thing we had to drive. So we cruised back to the house, hung out for a little bit, but around lunchtime we were like, man, I want some tacos, because tacos are life. So we headed out to get tacos at a little taco joint I'd seen and realized I really needed to get a new drive shaft, so we stopped back by and got that handled while there. This is him taking drive shaft off to spend more money. How are you going to repay me the money? Oh, I can't say on YouTube. <laughs> <clears throat> It'll be disappointing, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, I was thinking like ice cream, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Why not go get ice cream with the buggy? No, I want to go to the Dollar Tree. Mm. I but... think it'd be cheaper to go to the ice cream place than let you in a Dollar Tree. <laughs> Babe, I'm buying you a drive shaft. Let's not forget all the years that I spent making lots of money. I'm, like just, I'm just a bum. I'm just kidding.
All right, back at Southwest Crawlers. We're all fixed up. We got a half inch collar here. We got bracing on the bottom. Built an entirely new receiver. It runs all the way back. I don't know how good this will look, but we'll try to get you. All of that's been redone. <clears throat> all fixed up. Pitch sits nice and straight now. But these guys are fantastic, man. They built this LJ here. Got some uh, old, old Ford axles. King coilovers, they redone all of this here. Aluminum links. This thing, brand new 20s or 42s. But they did these uh, shock towers. Got some moto built parts on it. And then he built these sliders. This one here. Got Dynatrack axles. They wound up stretching out. What'd you say you stretched this one? One ten. We're gonna keep going, and this one is actually getting shipped to Hawaii. This customer wants to cruise around, do some mild wheeling. This is the guy that's doing it all here in Chino Valley, Arizona. That's the look of a man that can't find a 10 millimeter. <laughs> it's here somewhere. We got this pile in here doing some other stuff. A little maintenance. We got some Dana 80 action here. So what do you want to tell folks about Southwest Crawlers here in Chino Valley? Well, if you're ever in the Southwest Arizona area, come see us. Yeah. We need... We'd love to help you guys. He wheels a Toyota, but that's I'm okay. I'm a Toyota guy. I'm in the middle of building a tube <laughs> chassis car. So I'll be out there wheeling hard stuff soon. Yeah. I want to wheel that Toyota when I come back. Oh, it, if it's... I was going to part it out, but I don't think I have the heart to part yeah. it out. You know? When they get to looking like that, that's yeah. when they've been good. And you got a lot of memories with them. Yeah. Yeah. It's a raisin for sure. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Uh... Ford Ranger out here I just spotted. It's a little pre-runner. It's a yeah, buddy yeah. of ours. We're doing a, we're gonna do his rear bed cage on it. Some beavers in the rear. Little old school pre-runner stuff. Yeah, that looks fun. Y'all got some terrain for it out here. Oh, it's got a 5 in it. Well, it's not in it now, but. Oh, Jody Treadway. My buddy Jody could eat his heart out. <laughs> He's got one of these in this color that is just an absolute beast of a crawler. All right guys, so I'm now in San Hollow, Utah. I towed all the way up here, went to the Grand Canyon, went up here to San Hollow. Been all over the place, got some miles on this hitch since Jesse and Joe fixed it up over Southwest Crawlers. Couldn't be happier, man. They done me really good. I super appreciate you guys. I can't recommend them enough. I just want to show you the hitch. I don't have my hitch in it now. I always push that out when I step in it, but it's doing what it's supposed to do. It hasn't sagged, it's not cracked, it's not drooping, it's perfect. The truck even rides better since having that done. So shout out to Southwest Crawlers. I thank you guys so much. And if you're in the area, need something done, they can certainly help you out.